Do you think that works against you though? Is that is that why you're saying you need to preserve that? No, it do, it doesn't work against me. But sometimes when you find that you you have too many temporary people, or mm. there's people that aren't necessarily there for the long run, or they don't necessarily show their intentions quite early on. Mm. It becomes hard yeah. to to distinguish who you should open up to and who mm. you shouldn't. But at the same time, you would think that when you're dating, I thought that when people date, mm. like you're meant to be, you know, honest about who you are from the jump. So you'll know if you're compatible. Yeah, that's, but that's people impossible. come with the, perso- people <laughs> yeah. come with like a, a fake persona. You mm-hmm. come, you don't even come as you are. Mm. Like sometimes I, I blame the men also because mm. you guys sometimes take girls that aren't necessarily used to your type of lifestyle or your mm. living, then they have to dress up to conform to what you've brought them. Yeah. So now you've just brought a girl out that's pretending to be the person that yeah. you've painted her out yeah. to be. It, it, it works vice versa though. It's, it's, it's a strange one because everyone has, and now because of social media as well, going back to social media, everyone has a persona. Yeah. So if you don't know me and all, you, all you've seen of me is my social media persona, yeah. you're going to have a perception. And then you're going to adapt yourself based on that perception. So eventually when we do meet in person, yeah. you, you, you've got this thing built up in your head that you're going to have to... Let's say if I'm always wearing suits on my social media, three-piece <laughs> three piece suit, yeah. tie and suit, every day on social media, when you see me, you're going to assume that you're going to have to come all nicely dressed up. You're going to have to act prim and when proper that's not the girl. and speak the Queen's English. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But when you get to know me, you're like, wait, he's a bit dyslexic. He just tracks ah, anyhow. He, he, mumb- he mumbles a bit. <laughs> he likes wearing tracksuits. Yeah, and yeah. then you're hella confused because we all created these online personas that we struggle to keep up with. Yeah. So it works both ways because when you're watching, when you're, when you're online and you're looking at girls, sometimes as a dude as well, it's a bit scary and it's off-putting mm. because you're like, whoa, okay, She's looking 10, 10, 24, 7 online. Yeah. Like, am I going to be able to maintain this? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And dudes, we have to think about maintaining it, not just on a physical level, but on yeah. a financial level. Yeah. Because if you're constantly eating in nice restaurants online, I'm thinking, wait, hold on a moment. Yeah. This girl here is always eating in restaurants where you're paying minimum £200 yeah. a meal. Yeah. Like, I've got £75 in my account. If I take her out, yeah, we're drinking water and then yeah. I'm making an excuse for us to kick out of here. Mm-hmm. So all of these personas that we're creating of ourselves online, it's having a detrimental effect on us psychologically and 100%. physically when we do end up having real life experiences with yeah. people so it's do something that we should 